Hello, everyone. It's Scott Bell coming to you live from the North Shore of Oahu. It is December 30th, 2014, 9.30 in the morning. We're talking about sales training, but I want to talk to you about buyers or liars. Buyers or liars. Now, one of the things that happens in the sales process is if you become too negative about the people that you're dealing with, then it's really easy to start discounting the person and then you roll into sales sabotage. But I want you to understand some of the biggest lies that, that buyers tell you, okay? So one of the first thing is when the Buyers or Liars series is they just want free information. They want to know an expert, how an expert would do it. And what would go along with this would be a free demonstration. And a lot of this happens in the home services industry. And a lot of times what people will call out and say, well, you know what? I really don't want to buy what you have to offer. Can you just show me how to do it? And you're like, you know what? I've spent all these years in training and information to learn how to do this. I'm not going to give it to you for free. Now, I, uh, training heating and air conditioning technicians, people will call for tune-ups all the time, and they would want the technician to show them how to do it so that they could do it in the future. I'm like, are you kidding me? And sometimes the technicians would show them. Like, that's just absolutely insane. So sometimes buyers are liars because they want free information or they want a free demonstration so they could figure out how you would do it, right, so that they could do it themselves. And that's just... For the most part, that's cheap. They should be paying for that information. If you're an expert, you should be an expert. They should be paying for that information. They shouldn't just be exploiting it and extracting it from you. And if you're just giving it up, there's a challenge there, okay? Does that make sense? There's a challenge there. Shouldn't be doing that. Okay, so the first thing in the Buyer's Lottery series is that person wants free information. They want a free demonstration. You gotta know how that you're gonna deal with it. You gotta know that how you're gonna tackle that when they go, well, just can't you show me how to do it? And say, hey, you know what my favorite phrase is? I, instead of saying no, I wish I could. I wish I could show you how to do that, but there's a whole bunch of liability. Or I wish I could do that, but there's just too many steps to it. And the person will go, well, I could take notes. Well, you know what? I, didn't, I don't have time to be a teacher out here. My job is I got plenty of other things that I gotta do. I don't have time to go through this process and teach you how to do it. And they're gonna guilt you. You gotta know that the guilt here comes the guilt train. Choo choo, choo choo, choo choo, choo choo. Guilt train. But it's not fair. And anytime somebody says it's not fair, it's not a legitimate reason. Okay? It's not fair. It's subjective at best. So you got to go through the process. You got to know that sometimes buyers are liars. Not all the time. Because if you start having a negative view about how people buy, then you're going to start taking it out on buyers. But some, some buyers are liars. Okay? Now, if you could do a small favor for me in the box down below, leave a comment, question, or story, that'd be fantastic. To the right or to the left, there's a subscribe button. Subscribe. And then you can send it out to all your friends via StumbleUpon, Facebook, Twitter, Google, Reddit, Orkut. There's a ton of them. Scott Sylvan Bell. Only Scott Bell will still know. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Aloha.